<laughs> I see you fine. All right. Hello, Philip. How are you? I'm very good. And you, Euros? Good. Thank you very much. Um, Philip, thank you for joining me today. Uh, do you like my background? Yes. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it was appropriate for our, for our little chat today. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. With the Rafa cap. That's perfect. I, <laughs> I, am, I am excited about this racket coming out in a few days. In a few days, yeah. yeah. For us in Canada, it'll be April ish first. April ish. Okay, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that's that's gonna come soon enough. So, um, you are the national sales and marketing director for Babolat for Canada, and so you know, tell us a little bit more about uh, you know the the newest racket that's the biggest hype right now online. I'm seeing it left, right, and center on Instagram. You know, tell us a little bit more about what we can expect uh, playing with it. Yeah, well, actually, uh, it's it's our newest launch uh, internationally. You're gonna see it tomorrow. We're, you know, we see it on social media right now in terms of uh, some posts and stuff, and then even some uh, ambassadors that uh, already got the racket. Nadal for sure was been, has been playing for some time now. Uh, it's actually a racket that we've designed with a collaboration with Nadal. So Nadal was part of the whole design of the racket. It's mainly a cosmetic change. So in terms of people that are playing with the the current pure aero racket, it's exactly the same. It's just that in terms of cosmetic, uh, Rafa and Babolat wanted to have something that is closer to uh, his, uh, you know, feeling needs and, and you know, personnel. So uh, mm -hmm. that's why we, uh, you know, we designed that racket around uh, his wishes uh, awesome. per se. So he's been playing since uh, well about six months now and uh, been performing pretty well, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know, winning Can't a complain. few tournaments and so on and so forth. So we're gonna see more and more of that racket uh, in stores, uh, on courts. Uh, in a few uh, weeks and days uh, from now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so release is officially March 18th, you said? And it, it, yeah, globally, worldwide, it's March 18th. You're going to have some uh, mm -hmm. accessibility on the racket. But in terms of Canada, uh, far away from, uh, from uh, France, uh, we're launching it a little later. Uh, it will be mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. for us. And I and I see you have the bag there behind you as well. The bag I do have the bag, well. and I actually have the the actual oh, racket yeah. in front of me. So so look at that. You know, it's 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 the, the the paint job on that racket was it's it's fantastic. And actually, it's also uh, signed or written Rafa on the uh, on the handle. I don't know if you can't see yes, it. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Or maybe it's this way. No, uh, <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah, I could see it before. That's yeah, awesome. exactly. So so that's the uh, that's the racket. And then we uh, produced as well the ga the bag that goes along mm -hmm. with it. You know, mm -hmm. so the bag is the uh, the twelve size. Uh, bag mm -hmm. so you can fit up to 12 rackets three compartments and it's also uh labeled rafa yes labeled right. rafa so in the uh color he uh, he enjoy wearing on mm -hmm. court so nike does a pretty good job also putting some uh, some of those colors uh, uh along with uh with the racket so right yeah so very excited about that launch uh it'll be a, a fantastic ride so we're gonna have the racket also uh, available in kits in junior size in 26 inch and uh, it, throughout the summer also will will bring out the different uh, weight uh, for that racket in a light and a team uh, version. Okay and those are coming out then later this summer you said? Yes exactly. Right right yes I've uh, played with the uh, the light arrow before and so you know it certainly as a coach it helped me sort of keep that ball uh, in my arm uh, at ease. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. You know, everybody goes to the store and asks for the Rafa racket, but in some cases it might be too heavy. So that's why we made, uh, you know, lighter rackets to fit every style of play uh, mm -hmm. from juniors up to, you know, women's, uh, a little older people mm -hmm. and from, you know, top uh, guns like you. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the team version, is that, is that heavier than the no, Rafa? It's, no, it's lighter. The team. Yeah, oh, it's the, lighter. Okay, the team. So, so we have okay. light team and aero. Okay, I see. So light team and aero. And what's the difference approximately in weight there? Do you know on top of uh, 15 head? grams between 15 each. Grams. So uh, okay. 265, 285, and then uh, 300. Awesome. The, uh, the Rafa. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to get my hands on it. I know I've uh, had uh, people reach out to me saying, you know, how can I get this racket? So I, uh, I'm expecting it. I'm going to be checking my mail around April 1st. Yes. 
Yes, for sure. No, it, it, it'll be very soon in everybody's hand or accessible for everybody's hand. Exactly. Awesome. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for sharing that with me and uh, everyone else in Canada. So, um, you know, the other side that you guys are working on a lot, and that's completely new for Babylon, I believe, is Pickleball. Hey, yeah. Yeah, Pickleball is very brand new. Uh, we just launched in March. Uh, in yeah. Canada, uh, a pickleball range. So mm -hmm. very excited. You know, uh, we've been looking at uh, or contemplating at uh, doing something on the pickleball side. But, you know, pickleball is mainly played North America. So U.S. and Canada. Uh, mm -hmm. And because we're based out of France, you know, the, uh, the, the head office is in France. They're, they're far away from from the pickleball world. But uh, we brought uh, ideas to uh, to Babylon and they, they, you know, they, they brought a very good selection of product, you know, four paddles uh, that ranges in the uh, $129 retail to $159 retail, uh, different weights. So, and then they, they have also a, a an angle uh, different from pretty much all the other brands, uh, meaning that, uh, you know, it's the racket stands out first at the, you know, shelves uh, mm -hmm. on the shelf, meaning that the racket with the bumper, it's a yellow bumper. Uh, so we got the, a few rackets being on the blue side or on the black and, gr uh, and red side uh, uh, with, with the yellow bumpers. And, uh, and interestingly enough, is they're developing also some uh, new, new product for, to come a little uh, later on in May, June and working on very cool stuff uh, for fall, winter, and maybe spring, summer, 22. So, so for us, it's just the beginning on, uh, of the pickleball and, and pickleball, they, the, the angle also is, they say the quote is, uh, or the catchphrase is, uh, join the rebellion. Uh, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, it's going to be a, a cool, uh, segment, you know, Bamalat is always seen as a young company, uh, as a, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, uh, I would say, uh, the 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 original or the the the, the classic, the like classic, more exactly. More like, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. We're we're trendsetters uh, mm -hmm. in in ways with colors, with you know, uh, shape of the racket, technology in the racket. So it's uh, they're bringing that same idea uh, on the pickleball side. So uh, pickleball, four different uh, uh, rackets. Uh, different weights, uh, 230 gram, 215 gram. Uh, one, uh, <clears throat> the uh, Renegade is uh, is uh, fiberglass, and the uh, Rebel mm -hmm. uh, is uh, carbon fiber. Okay. Okay. Uh, so suits every yeah. style of play. Uh, I would say it suits also uh, every uh, financial uh, side. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, you know, you, you should be uh, seeing them uh, very soon. Actually, in Vancouver, uh, Rackets and Order already have uh, some in the, uh, on the shelves. So uh, pick one. They have mm -hmm. demos and try them and have fun. Right. Yeah, it's a fun combination to do that as a tennis player myself. I've went out and just, I've just had a chance to play pickleball once. And uh, due to the restrictions, it had to be one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, playing pickleball one against one, as both of us were pretty good tennis players, we were able to move around, had a great workout for two hours. And so, uh, you know, it's interesting how pickleball is taking off for people that just never play tennis, but also for a lot of tennis players recognizing that it can be a coexisting sport in the world. Oh, and obviously, for sure. Babalat has recognized that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, we're, we're very... Uh excited uh, about it in the states uh, it's going super well uh, for sure they have access to courts that we don't uh, but once we uh, the, the snow melts in Montreal we still have snow on the ground so and I understand that in Vancouver you had like 14 15 degrees so different yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> different, different weather uh, but still soon uh, everybody's going to be able to hit the courts and and have fun on the pickleball uh, courts. Exactly. Now, is there any other equipment that you guys are manufacturing for pickleball? Uh, actually, for time? now, no. It's only pickleball. Uh, but there are going to be some very cool stuff coming out uh, mm -hmm. pretty soon on the uh, on the backside. Uh, so I wouldn't say luggage, but it's bags. Uh, mm -hmm. But very cool bags that uh, they brought ideas from a, a completely different uh, sport. Uh, 
uh, yeah, yeah, completely different sport. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Okay, excellent. Very interesting. Yes. I mean, I, I have one of those padel bags, you know, that, that are a little Yeah, smaller. the smaller ones. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. actually, uh, you can use those padel. And then actually, uh, we're, you know, waiting for the product, the padel product uh, to come in. Uh, because uh, that sports also in North America is slowly growing. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see padel in the south of the uh, U.S., uh, but also soon you're going to see some courts uh, being built in in Canada. There's a few courts already uh, being built or already in in in, in action in uh, Calgary. Uh, right. But very soon you're going to see that sports coming. So racket being smaller, bags are also being a little smaller, and it fits uh, the uh, the pickleball. Uh, Definitely, yes, you can use it for both. Yes, I exactly. get my uh, pickleball racket and my paddles all in the paddle bag, which is nice. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. I've just heard that, yeah, there's one more court being created also up in Whistler at the Whistler uh, Racket Club. They're building oh, a. No kidding. Bag I, I was not aware of that. So it's very nice. So you're going to see it, it, it brand new. So yeah. is it, a, you know, being built now? And they are planning on having it by May, I believe. By May? Fantastic. By May, yes. And yeah, so I said, I'm, I'm coming up, I'm bringing my pedal racket and let's play. <laughs> let's play for sure. So so we, we are able and most likely we're going to be the only supplier of pedal product in Canada to start uh, from shoes, balls, uh, bags, rackets, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, accessories, uh, bumper guards and stuff. So yeah. uh, very, very soon you, you can get access to product uh, yes. in Canada. While I have this on my mind, um, have you guys ever looked at to uh, beach tennis or rackets for beach tennis? Not beach tennis, not for now, not, not for now. now. We're we're into uh, uh, touch tennis. Okay. Uh, uh, we do have touch tennis rackets uh, through the uh, the touch tennis organization, uh, but no, not not uh, beach tennis. How how are touch tennis rackets different to regular rackets? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a it's a yeah it's a uh, aluminum racket. Uh, it's a 21 inch uh, racket, junior racket. So okay. they play with junior rackets mm -hmm. with a foam ball. foam ball, and the surface is uh, quite the same size as a pickleball court. Mm -hmm. uh, and it plays with a lower uh, net, so it's it's tennis, but uh, with uh, shorter rackets and and foam balls. So mm -hmm. for the those that aren't moving as fast or you know the eye and coordination is not as tuned as in tennis, then you're able to have fun as well. Mm -hmm. so, the, you know different ways of uh, approaching the uh, the racket sports uh, industry or world, I would say. Exactly. Yes, I have a friend of mine who coaches out of Hollybrand Country Club, and they've organized a few touch tennis tournaments. And, uh, you know, yeah, top no, level players go in yeah. there, and it's quite competitive. Oh, yeah, it, it is very competitive. Yeah, you know, for those people that have great hands, it's fantastic. You don't need to have mm -hmm. like a lot of lots of strengths or power. It's it's mainly uh, hands, you know, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. moving yeah. a lot uh, 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 around uh, and then hands. Yes, of course. So um, besides the rackets and equipment that way, you guys also do a great job and have transitioned a lot into, uh, into uh, clothing and shoes. Exactly. And so yeah. I want to ask you about uh, a new shoe that's coming out, the Mac 3. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, how is yeah. it different and what does it look like? It, actually, that's, uh, that's the black, uh, br black and bronze uh, colorway that we're going to bring uh, soon in the, in the marketplace. It's, you know what? The, the tennis is going so fast now. It's, it's getting faster and faster. So you need to get faster to the ball. So that's, that's our quote, uh, getting yeah. faster to the ball. So a super light uh, shoe. Uh, and then the, uh, it's the, the upper is designed with in combination with a, uh, a fabric company out of France, uh, Chamatex, uh, that designs that do, uh, you know, fabrics for, uh, different, uh, businesses, uh, being aeronautics, uh, even, uh, to go on the moon and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So it's a super high tech fabric, uh, that, that is very suitable the way, the way, the uh, the weaving is done on that shoe uh, makes it uh, super strong for uh, lateral movement and front and back movement. So everything that uh, that uh, that a fast player needs to uh, to, to have to move on the on the on the on the court. Of uh, as also the uh, the midsole is you know you look at the back the midsole is a little uh, you know uh, curved and and so when you 
hit the, the ground. Uh, there's a, a, a capsule in it, so it will absorb the, uh, the energy, will restitute the energy once you've, you, you transition to the front. Uh, and also uh, the outsole is made with uh, Michelin. So it's, a, it's the, the compound that they designed, but also the structure of the outsole that uh, Michelin designed. So Michelin uh, tires, Tires, they know everything about grip, about, uh, you know, friction, about uh, being stable in corners and so on and so forth. So that's what they, uh, they, uh, they design with us uh, in combination. So super light, comfortable uh, and, and, you know, uh, yeah. fast on the court. So that's the uh, Jet Mach 3. Uh, the Mach is uh, the speed of light. So Mach 1, Mach 2, now we're at Mach 3. So you are going Okay. Very fast, faster and faster the ball. So yeah, very oh. excited about that as well. So it's going to come out in, in a couple of weeks uh, from now. Awesome. Um, I need those shoes if they're going to make me faster because I need some speed. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, you can, maybe you have to lose some weight also. I don't Thank know. <laughs> I love honest people. Thanks. <laughs> well, you know what? It, it, it certainly, you know, shoes do make a difference. Like, and you know what? I've had so many shoes in my life that, you know, either were a little, little too heavy or too light. Sometimes it's not good because it doesn't give you the support you need. So finding the right fit for the right type of foot is really important. And you know, quite often they say that, you know, it's what 80% of people are most likely wearing a wrong size for their foot because yep. you have to also look at the width of the shoe. Yep. So, um, yeah, so I think it's just the key is uh, trying them out, but those look really good. I love the look of them. Yeah. No, but, you know, basic still it's black, but you know, a little, uh, Awesome. French taste with the yeah. bronze. <laughs> now, uh, do you guys have a specific version for clay courts versus hard courts or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The good. outsole, we, we're making some herringbone outsole on different shoes. So uh, most of the shoes uh, you can have uh, them on clay outsole. Uh, for us in Canada, we're not bringing the whole range because then we're going to have too many SKUs. Uh, so we have, we, uh, chose specific models that comes with the hair bone uh, clay outsole. So mm -hmm. it's very, very specific for clay. Awesome. And so besides regular uh, small shops in your own city, where can one go to get some of these new things as they come out? Well, in Online. terms of, uh, in terms of the pure range, meaning the pure arrow, these are, you know, more, uh, more likely to be found on uh, in specialty uh, shops or okay. pro shops. Uh, in terms of uh, the entry to mid-level, you can go to uh, sport check uh, or any uh, general sporting goods in your area. But mainly, uh, you know, Babala, we have different ranges, but the pure ranges meaning the pure strike, the pure drive range, or the, the pure arrow range, the Rafa racket, uh, that you'll find in the uh, specialty accounts. Uh, mm -hmm. For Vancouver, uh, I would say uh, Rackets and Runner and Tads, uh, Holliburn uh, Pro Shop as well. So this, these are the accounts because you need to have the right service, mm -hmm. the right knowledge uh, to direct you towards the right weights and the right racket. Meaning that if you're looking for spin, then you're going to go steer towards the uh, pure arrow. If you want to have more power, you steer towards the uh, uh, pure drive. And then if you want to have uh, a little bit of all three, uh, mainly control, is the pure strike. So pure strike is Dominic Team, uh, pure drive uh, Feng Yingyi, and then pure arrow uh, uh, Rafa. Right, right. That's awesome. Yes, and, and while I have you here, the Pure Drive has experienced an incredible success over the last year. Oh, it, it, was our, it, it was our, first of all, the Pure Drive is our uh, first ever racket uh, that Babola launched. Uh, Babola has been a, well, it's the oldest company in the tennis world, 1875. Uh, so it's been around for quite some time. They've seen a lot of people, a lot of club players go, go by. They're still there uh, and, and super strong. So in 1994, they got out with the Pure Drive and uh, they all they won uh, almost right off the bat. Uh, oh, that with Carlos with, Moya? With Carlos Moya, exactly. Right. So they won uh, French Open and then it started to uh, trickle down. So we've we, so, so our pure drive is our DNA. So th this is this is us. Uh, 
Uh, and then the, the pure drive, the, the last launch uh, that we've done with, uh, with the racket, with that racket, it was our best ever launch uh, globally, worldwide. Uh, for for a racket, so so and it's it's still going on very very strong. It's been launched uh, for uh, since uh, last year, and uh, and it's been super strong. Uh, mm -hmm. We're we're actually uh, you know very uh, often out of of, of some grip size, so we have to order more and order more and order more. And 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 to say that that racket, why it's so um, uh, popular. It's because you don't need to be a, a 4.5 or a top player to play with that racket. You know that racket you can play as a, a, a you know a, an amateur and mm -hmm. and still have fun, still have control, gives you power. So it's a super uh, all around racket. And then you know with different weights, different head head size. So it suits uh, from almost seven to seventy seven year old uh, people. Definitely. So an extremely playable racket and I've given it some of my clients who are entry level as well as advanced players and I mean it's uh it's an incredible beast exactly yeah yeah, yeah. well good well thank you very much Philip. I really appreciate your time and uh sharing what Babylon had in store so to speak uh coming up for us here <laughs> yeah well thank you for uh, letting me uh get uh, those informations to you and uh, and and, yeah. and to your uh, your people awesome yeah you're very welcome okay. well Talk to you soon and uh, keep on going. We love what Perfect. you're doing. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Ciao. Thanks.